Hey guys, it's Ryan Bryce here, and today I'm gonna tell you exactly why I'm going to move to Puerto Rico. Well, there's a 90% chance I'm moving there. And by the way, in April, I'm actually gonna go ahead and visit. I already bought the tickets, everything's booked, and in reality, in April, I'm gonna go and visit. Now, I do wanna say one thing. Tommy, you're moving, no more videos. And by the way, guys, you guys don't know, I have three channels. This channel, Ask Tommy Bryson, and also the Tommy Bryson Show. I post videos every single day on each channel. So basically, three videos a day. Me and my editor, Danny, would do that, okay? However, the videos are not gonna stop no matter what. I'm gonna post videos every day, no matter what. It doesn't matter where I am. I can grab my books, I can read them, and still give you guys knowledge, no matter if I'm under a rock or a cave, okay? And by the way, this studio right here, it's like very small, right? It's like my bed, this is my bed, by the way. It's not like a, like, like a, like a fixture or anything like that. It's my bed where I sleep. And basically, it's like a 90 to 100 square feet room, very small and very constrained. However, it does not matter. Again, where I am, the content is still going to be made. So don't worry about that part. But for this video, guys, I'll tell you exactly how much money am I gonna save, why I'm moving, where I'm moving to, and on top of that, Tommy, aren't you gonna get married with your fiance? So is she gonna come? What's gonna happen with that? I'll tell you all the information that you guys basically wanna know, okay? Cause you guys are nosy, and so am I. I love watching these videos also, okay? Now if you guys are new here, I post videos every single day, so you should also subscribe and hit the bell to get notified, and on top of that, also destroy the like button. Now obviously, Tommy, all right, let's be honest, okay? You're obviously going there because basically you want to save money on taxes. The answer is yes, I do want to save money on taxes, but also I'm going back to Puerto Rico. In reality, I lived there when I was around 13 or 14 years old a while back. I stayed there for around a year, but you guys know, okay, when you go somewhere and you're a kid, it's different, right? Because you're going to school, you come back home, you play video games, that's about it, right? However, when you're an adult and you're paying for everything and it's like different, right? So it's going to be a lot more different, but... Let's talk about taxes. Tommy, how much money in taxes are you gonna save? Is this like a California video where people are saving a ton of money? The answer is yes. I'm not gonna lie to you, the answer is yes. Now, as you guys probably know, I live in the Bronx in New York, okay? And I get hit every single year with around three types of taxes, okay? I get federally taxed at the government level, and on top of that, also at state level, and also at the local level for basically living in the city in the Bronx, okay? I pay around 35% for federal, around 8% for state taxes, and on top of around like four to 5% for city taxes. So overall, they take a lot of money. Now how much, you guys know I'm transparent, this year or last year, I'm gonna pay around. Now this video is sponsored by, by the way, we got around like $20,000 from the sponsor. No, I'm just kidding. The sponsor is actually my third channel called Ask Tommy Bryson, where I basically take your calls one-on-one. -on -one. So if you wanna join me over there, you get to call me for free for 30 minutes and talk to me one-on-one -on -one from Monday to Friday between 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern time, okay? That way we can talk together one-on-one. -on -one. So if you guys wanna join me over there, link down below, go subscribe to the channel and go make a schedule or go join the schedule so I can go ahead and call you, okay? That's a sponsor and we got paid $10,000 for myself. Just kidding, okay? That video's not monetized, <laughs> so there's no money over there, but we're still making videos every single day also over there. So thanks again, guys, and go subscribe to Ask Tommy Bryson. That's the third channel on the whole platform. This year, or last year, I'm gonna pay around $85,000 in taxes. Now, if you guys don't know, I graduated as an accountant, right? What I would've made as an accountant is literally a little bit less than that entire tax bill, okay? So to me, it's like, oh my gosh, that's a lot of money. And by the way, I love paying taxes. It's a part of the game. It's fine. It's my duty. However, uh, it's not my duty to pay something when I can basically save, okay? It's the difference, okay? I don't mind paying it, but if I can move away somewhere and save that money and be happier and have, for example, a better quality of life, then why wouldn't I do it? You guys get it? So I love taxes, but if I can save money on taxes, why wouldn't I? All right, that's the whole idea. So don't think, Tommy, you want to avoid taxes. The answer is yes, I do, but I also don't mind paying taxes. And by the way, there's no way to get a zero bill, but you know, there's a way to minimize that. Now, obviously, if I go to Puerto Rico, tell me how much money will you be saving? Well, I'm going to go under the Act 16, the Expert Services Act, and in reality, I'm going to be taxed at 4%. Now, 
whatever I pay myself as an employee, I'll be taxed normally, of course, but whatever my business makes, instead of being taxed federally, I'll be taxed only 4%, meaning me and my accountant did the math. We're gonna be paying around $8,000 on the business level. That's how much money we're saving. Before it was around 60 to 70. We're gonna go down to around $8,000, okay? Potentially, that's how small this tax bill is going to be. Meaning, I'm going to be saving somewhere around sixty thousand dollars or eight thousand dollars per year. And by the way, although New York is great, I'm not out here going to restaurants or going to the city and all that stuff. So New York is great, but it's not really something I need to do my job and be happy. So I don't really care about being in the city. Okay, so that's why I have no problem with moving. So overall, guys, I'm going to save somewhere around sixty to 80K just in taxes, a lot of money. So you guys basically understand, hey Tommy, I get it. That's how you're moving, I would move too. Now guys, number two, it's not just about saving money in taxes, but it's also about independence. Now to me, independence basically means, hey Tommy, are you gonna be financially free pretty soon? The answer is yes. You know, I wanna be financially free, but I wanna do it fast, but not too fast to take on way too much risk and kind of get a little stupid making dumb decisions, okay? But overall, living there obviously, it's going to save me a lot of money on taxes and living costs, so why wouldn't I do it to get there a lot faster? And by the way, the reason I'm here talking to you guys is basically because of my mom, right? My mom moved from the Dominican Republic to Tortola, then from Tortola to Puerto Rico, then Puerto Rico to New York, and so on. So the only reason I'm here is because of the bravery of my mom. So in a way, it's kind of like inspired by my mom. All of my mom says, hey, Tommy, stay in New York, don't move, you know, blah, 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 but you know, it makes sense, and that's why I'm doing it. now. The third reason, guys, is also because I get to be closer to home, all right? New York is great, it's cool here, but in reality, all my family is usually in Dominican Republic, okay? So it's a lot better to be, hey, I'm 30 minutes away from my grandma, my grandpa, my aunts, my uncle, also my mom, which is down there. It's a lot easier to visit my family. And lastly, number four, guys, you know, Tommy, where are you going to move? And also, is your fiance coming with you? Well, in reality, we're going down in April, literally this month, to go ahead and check out everything, okay? So when she sees it, she'll say, hey, I like it or I don't like it. And then from then on, we'll make a choice on what's going to happen, okay? But there's a 90% chance I'm going to be moving to Puerto Rico. And I pick, for example, Isla Velde, or for example, Carolina, because I did used to live in Carolina before, and it's pretty nice, not that bad at all. Now guys, lastly, I do want to mention, for example, cost of living. Now as far as, for example, shelter, transportation, also utilities, and also groceries, it's not going to be that much money compared, for example, to Florida, if I moved there, or for example, stayed in New York and got my own apartment, obviously, right? It's a lot more expensive in the US than it would be in Puerto Rico, although, is not as cheap as you probably think it is, okay? In reality, a three bedroom, two bath apartment is gonna cost us somewhere around between $1,000 to $1,500. Not that bad, but not that crazy cheap, okay? On top of that, groceries, I don't plan on spending more than $300 a month, okay? I'm not gonna be one of those couples that spend, for example, $2,000 on groceries. It's just not my vibe. And also transportation, obviously, I'm gonna have to go ahead and buy a car. I'm gonna finance one, okay? A BMW, no, I'm just kidding, okay? It's gonna be, <laughs> it's gonna be, I'm gonna pay cash for it, it's gonna be a Toyota Corolla. And when I can afford, for example, a more expensive car, I will, but for right now, a Toyota Corolla, 2014 or 2016 or 2017, is going to be just fine, and I'll pay for it in cash, okay? That's like, with insurance and gas, maybe like 150 to $200 every single month. And lastly, also, utilities. When it comes to light, gas, my phone bill, internet bill, all that stuff. I don't expect to pay more than $300 per month, which is gonna save me a lot of money compared to here also. But overall, guys, it should be between $1,600 a month to $2,200 every single month on the high end, okay? But overall, it is still gonna save me a ton of money. And by the way, guys, I do wanna give a shout out to Samantha with a YouTube channel. Link is right here to the channel, also description down below. But Samantha helped me out a ton when it came to saying, hey, Tommy, here's the best places to actually live in Puerto Rico, okay? So that helped me out a ton. So thank you so much, Samantha, for everything. But overall, guys, obviously, I'm gonna move to Puerto Rico for a lot of reasons, not just taxes, but taxes are gonna be a big reason, okay? But guys, comment down below and let me know what do you guys think? Good idea, 
Bad idea. Comment down below. Let me know. And by the way, Tommy, just go to Florida. Yeah, Florida is great, but you still have federal taxes over there, which is going to cost me around $60,000. Okay, a lot of money if you ask me. And that's why I'm not going to Florida anymore. Okay, now you guys know the big secret. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for watching. As always, like, subscribe, hit the bell to get notified. If you guys want to talk to me, well, join me on Patreon. Link down below or send me a DM on Instagram at Tommy Bryson. Before I go, if you want to do another video, well, here's that video right here and click my face right here. See you guys tomorrow. And as always, peace.